hello hello it is me divine empress queen t l c s g m here and back with another energy soul chari for the lovely zodiac sign of virgo stand up virgo straight getting into the business of your pre-energy read what is going on with you there is going to be balance there's going to be good karma in a past relationship that you had with someone they are just like nostalgic they are missing you definitely wanting to return back into your life do know there is going to be good karma justice being served for you in this relationship but i could see you kind of maybe um in denial of taking this person back okay because of maybe their ego okay um you're just not sure but they are you're going to get a message from this person that they um i found a new job they trying to get their money right they're going to have a new beginning a new secure financial beginning um they are definitely going to come in quickly to you to offer this proposal to want to get back together with you it is going to be a new beginning in their finances big time security okay um legacies seed has been sown they this offer this coming in i'm seeing it took a long time but they never gave up you never gave up on the relationship okay it took a lot of patience perseverance just keep going okay you keep going you get knocked down you have patience okay I see you've been setting some boundaries. You're going to set those boundaries and you're just waiting things out. You're not going to rush back into it. You're waiting things out. But I do see there's a mutual attraction, a soulmate connection relationship. And you in decision of making this choice this time. Are you going to, are y'all going to commit or not? Pre-energy read. That's what's going on right now. Virgo. As I say, this is general read, so it may or may not resonate with all Virgos, but it does resonate with some out there. Now, we getting ready to get into your chakra affirmation. What came up for you was the root chakra affirmation. I am nourished and supported by Mother Earth. This is the same affirmation that came up, for, I think, for Virgo. So, uh, I mean, Virgo, <laughs> Taurus. You definitely could be dealing with a Taurus. Um just know that you are definitely supported by mother earth mother nature what god created out here in this universe it's all uh source of resources out here to help you connect you ground you as well with this root chakra affirmation ground you in everything that you want in your life in your relationships okay finances goals okay anything that you're trying to take up school studying i'm seeing that as well to better yourself better your life it's all resources here to definitely help you in those areas just figure out what they are tap in do the research get everything going moving in your life what you want okay but stay grounded and remember the things that you do wrong and not get distracted Root chakra affirmation. Key concepts of the root chakra are your safety, your security, your physicality, and your basic human needs. Virgo, you're definitely going to be secure in everything that you need, your basic human needs. Okay, security, finances, money, safety. Okay, home, foundation, family structure. Definitely secure. Um, just stay grounded. Deepen your connection with what you want. And Mother Earth, yes, let it work to your best um, defense. Yes. With that being said, Virgo, which one do I want to pull? I'm going to pull 
light from these Virgo. We're gonna get up into your energy. Read with these tarot. And let's see what's going on. What message does Virgo need to hear? Other than the pre energy message. Do we need to add to this reading? Woo, six of cups. Yes, your person is definitely missing you. Somebody from the past wants reconciliation. Six of, six of cups off gate. All right, all right. And I said you're going to get good karma in this. Yes, you are going to get good karma with this four ones coming up with this six cups. I said it's a mutual attraction, soulmate connection. Definitely, you're going to make that decision. It looks like. Definitely going to commit with this four ones, eleven eleven card, divine union. Definitely going to be taking place. Okay, like I said, when you get back in it, set boundaries up, stand up for yourself. Know what you're going to take and know what you will not take in the relationship. On both parties. Oh, great. Ooh, you know what you're going to take and what you ain't going to take because it's definitely been some backstabs with this Ten of Swords pain, some hurt and pain that you felt within this relationship. Mm -hmm. What else looked out? Five of Swords. Ooh, definitely been some pains. Ten of Swords and Five of Swords. OMG. Definitely conflict, fighting. People trying to win at all costs, don't care who they hurt, you know, having a smug look. Like I said before, you in decision about taking this offer back because this person is kind of egotistical. Okay, well, we're thinking about themselves and in their own ego and trying to hurt whoever, um, you know, just to have some control over the situation. Definitely been some fighting, drama, conflict. Okay, five of swords. Yep, nine of swords. What else, man? You in decision? You in decision? And in denial? Um, indecision. We're making a decision of taking this person back because of things that happened in the past. Okay. Yes, Lord. You on guard with this nine of swords? You see, you in defense and not sure if you really want to take this. Yes, there's been too many backstabs. I said it's been a lot of perseverance, some patience. A lot of time getting set back, and then start over, set back again in the relationship with backstabs. Okay, mm -mm. Ooh, yeah. what All right? Ace of Pentacles flew up there. You, um, indecision. Okay, you, you're not sure if you want to take this new beginning with this person. Okay, it's a new beginning on the horizon. It's Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like you're going to be moving forward with this person. Okay, like I said, just set up your boundaries. Okay, stand up for yourself. Know what you're going to take. Peep out the scenery, everything, the person's actions, everything that's going on. Okay, you know, it definitely needs to be some truth and honesty in the situation. Okay. Ooh, we're getting ready. We go. We're moving right along fast. We'll give a little setup, and then we're gonna end this on up. So we're going to go here. Seven of Wands. This card flew up first. So we're gonna take this. Death and the rebirth endings and beginnings as well in this new in this relationship okay with this seven of wands okay following it up you definitely want peace in the relationship you're not trying to be with all that conflict and drama that was in the past before that's why you're really taking your time and waiting okay not rushing into it and then okay i do see what you're taking time and patience waiting your person's gonna step up in the emperor energy and take charge and lead and be the strong person that they're supposed to be, okay? Um, you are definitely shining away from um, any negative energy. You're trying to definitely keep the peace balance within yourself, okay? Anybody that's not bringing it, you're not with it, okay? To the left, to the left, period. And that's on period, Period, that is definitely. Let's go. Mm, these 
too wants to flip up out here. So we're going to pull. Yeah, six of swords. I said, anybody's not trying to bring a piece of drama, you moving away. You moving away. Six of swords, clearly moving away from the situation, okay? I'm looking for calmer waters for peace, okay? Because you secure and stable within yourself with this Queen of Pentacles energy, honey. You are able to take care of yourself and don't need nobody to take care of you. Anybody's not adding to the relationship or just bringing extra stress, drama with this Five of Swords, Ten of Swords conflict, you out. Okay, as I say, I'm out, you out, period, moving away. It's hurting you to, you know, kind of let go because you have passion for this person. This person still has passion and desire for you. But that passion and everything is not enough if you're not going to get your act all the way together. You feel me? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. I did say it's taking a lot of time, a long time. But, you know, you definitely are waiting and not rushing into it. So if this person gets they set together, great. Is is good. I feel that they are, but you know, there's definitely another soulmate person out there for you. Don't waste and wait on on a person and get themselves together, especially when you have time and time and try to work it out. And it's been backstab at the backstab. See, with the six of swords, you moving. It's, it's it's a moving on energy. Okay, down to earth, grounded within yourself, within your own finances. Okay, I saw with this person getting a new job or whatever. Um, it's definitely you could be getting a pay raise in your um in your job. Any money owed to you is definitely going to be returned, restored. Pentacles again. Oh, yes, King of Cups. Boy, your person coming here with their emotions, hearts on their sleeve. Sad. They feel like they're going to get themselves together and they emperor energy. You know, it took a long time for this person to get right. Lord, but it's definitely coming. New beginning. Seed sown. Ace of Pentacles out here twice. you definitely going to be financially secure and stable within your income, your money, baby. Legacies. Seed is sown. Property bought. Okay, home, you're thinking about a new home. That's definitely Ace of Pentacles that represents that as well. But, oh, this is lovely energy for the Virgo in the, in the moolah. And just a new beginning, period. Definitely, it's going to be a new beginning in love the, with the emotions and your person coming and expressing, tapping in, getting out of this conflict, drama, energy, trying to win at all costs, spinning ego, getting in touch with their emotions, new beginning. Ending in new ending in old ways. You all about the peace. Your person coming in with the peace as well. And love and ready to express it. Ready to express it. Period. Okay. Do see y'all gonna be moving forward and you knowing your worth. Okay. For some Virgos out there, you could be expecting some pregnancy. Okay. You knowing your worth. And you know what you're going to take. It takes some patience and time. But I do see things is definitely going to work out. You're definitely going to, you know, just be on guard. You know, have all your senses up and be aware. Tap into your intuition and the situation and your relationship. Set up them boundaries from the get-go. All right. We're going to end this on up quickly. For the Virgo, no clarifications. Not pulling any other cards. We're going to end it up quick here with 14 minutes on the clock. 14.22. All right. If this resonated with you, like, share, and subscribe. If it did not, leave it to the season. Nod and let it ride, Sally Ride. Okay. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, as I always say, my dear viewers... Pray, pray, meditate, yes, in your peaceful energy with your own, meditate, namaste, and I'm out.